a, a toy designer, right? Yeah. So how does, I'm curious, how does your graffiti background tie into that? And then also how does the, um, the formal schooling background tie into that? Um, well, the funny thing about it is like um, my illustrations are very exaggerated. So um, because of my graffiti background, I was able to, um, to really work with shapes and stuff. And so with toys, um, it's really shape oriented. So a lot of stuff is very, um, you know, round, bubbly, fun, cartoon. Yeah. So, you know, so is graffiti. Graffiti is very bold, right. very bright colors, you know, so a lot of that kind of ties itself in. So you do get a little bit of that in this industry where like it does help to have a little bit of that kind of creative background where things exaggerated and elongated and just fun and, and eye candy. So I think it lends itself for it. Um, I wouldn't say it helps me much, uh, but it does it does play a role on some 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 aspect of of, uh, of design. So, I mean, art is art. I think in general, I mean, if you are a graffiti artist and stuff, and you want to pursue a career in in toys or in comic books, I'm sure that you know, like you look at like Joe Mad um, when you look at his work in comics, you you see. Although I don't know his background, but it looks like something you would find on a wall in LA. You know what I mean? I so think yeah. Scotty Young is, has a graffiti background also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's something. So a lot of those artists, when you look at their style, it, it, it's very bulky and, and very yeah, cartoony yeah. and exaggerated. So um, I think again, for, for being a toy designer, I think it, it does help in the way that it does bring that uh, exaggeration and, and that kind of kid mentality where you want things to pop in and be eye candy, you know? So yeah, that makes sense. 